at Dalhousie we have about 110 structures and uh, about 30 of them are houses dating back to the Second World War. We're not like a new campus that have uh, 20 year old buildings and indeed some of our buildings even date back to the 1800s with the Forest Building being our oldest building on campus. The 90s were in a different environment because there were things like the Halifax Declaration which was actually uh, conceived here at Dal um, at a conference and, and uh, the Talwar Declaration which committed institutions to not only conserve energy but just behave in a more sustainable fashion. We have been thinking about green building for a while. It's now we're really starting to package it and promote it and also take it to a new level. And as we started to design buildings like the McCain building and the Rowe building behind me, uh, we started thinking more and more about about the, the long-term energy costs and the, the long-term performance of the buildings. We're quite excited because we're targeting lead gold for the new academic building now called the Mona Campbell Building and for the Life Sciences Research Institute, uh, lead silver is being targeted as well. LEED is a green building certification and basically it sets out a framework for looking at uh, energy issues, water, materials, transportation. It's very comprehensive and it helps you to look at what kind of uh, standards you could have for the building. The green roof was an integral part of the design of this building and it's an integral part of LEED. We want to try to achieve a reduction in the urban heat island effect where buildings and building roofs contribute to the heat of the urban environment. So the green roof uh, mitigates that problem. It keeps it cooler on the outside of the building, the atmosphere. It also keeps the inside of the building much cooler in summer months and it helps insulate it in winter months. The non-green roof components of the building uh, are white and reflective for the same heat island effect we talked about, but also from those roofs we're collecting rainwater and the rain water goes to a cistern in the basement and that water is used to flush the toilets and urinals, therefore avoids using potable water from the city water supply to do those sorts of functions. The bubble deck in this building is the third installation in North America. It essentially has basketball sized uh, plastic spheres within the 11 inch depth of the slab and it saves almost 40 percent in the volume of concrete needed for the construction of the floor slabs. The uh, cement used to manufacture concrete uh, is reduced considerably and therefore we're saving energy and resources in the world. The solar wall system on the outside of the penthouse is a perforated metal panel that permits uh, intake air for the ventilation systems to be preheated in the sun and therefore uh, save a lot of energy on the heating of uh, winter air when it's in most demand. Some of the other uh, sustainable features that are incorporated into this building and are part of the LEED program you can do in almost any building today and we do do them on most buildings and that includes uh, materials that have recycled content, materials that are low in VOCs, so sealants and paints and adhesives are all available today in low VOC. Uh, wood products in this building uh, are now available in the region that are uh, grown sustainably. That is a big impact on the environment. We have indoor and outdoor bike racks. Inside the building we have a bike room with track racking that can hold quite a few bikes as well as showers and lockers so it's a really good end of use facility. It's not only the energy we use on campus but the energy people use getting to campus that's important in, in, our, in our whole footprint. The building at the corner of La Marchant and Coburg had been the former Nova Scotia College of Art and Design. And after that, it became uh, the first art gallery of Nova Scotia. So it became very important from my point of view to make that link with history and come up with some art project that integrates into the uh, new building. Standing in the space, you'll see the art, art piece responding in real time to all of the building systems that are happening behind the scenes. So you'll see changes in color, uh, changes in sound that are reflective of the changes in light levels and, and the changes in building temperatures and various systems that are not necessarily apparent um, on, a, on a sort of conscious level. When you think of green architecture, often it's uh, quite mute. You don't understand what it does or why it's green or why it saves energy at all. So the artwork in that particular building will be a way to express those ideas and make it really exciting for people who walk in. They'll get it. I think every building should have a future like this. The College of Sustainability is the only program of its kind in all of Canada and only one of two in North America. So we're feeling pretty proud of everything we're doing. I think it's really important for our students to see that we are not only talking about sustainability, that we're actually doing something about sustainability. What we're doing here at Dow and what the students expect and, and hopefully what society is going to expect is that we, we have a true look at sustainability in, in all its facets 
and that we're going to operate that way uh, more in the future, not just as a knee-jerk reaction to economics, but because that's the way we should be, we should be operating.